part of our 150 year celebration. Today, we're gonna to have a chat to one of our all time great legends, the great Johnny Dugdale. Duggars, welcome back to the club, mate. Thanks, Donald, nice to be here. How many games did you end up playing for the Roos in the end? Uh, 248. I started in 1955 and played my last game in 1970. You mentioned Alan A, that was probably the best player you played with. So, the best player you played against? The best player I played against was Teddy Whitten. In my time, I used to rate Ted Whitten as the best player, Bob Skelton as the second best, and Alan A as the third. What was, the big, what was the big thing you noticed from when we battled in the early 70s? You know, maybe probably won a wooden spoon. We're down the bottom of the ladder with the South Melbourne's Mitch Roy's, and then all of a sudden, you know, we're playing in six or seven grand finals in a row in the 70s. What were your recollections of those times? Well, one of the, probably the, the big things that changed was the way the, the whole club was run when Mick Alec became president. Yeah. They invited people to come and they got got the whole club running well, the social club was doing tremendous with their discos, they were making a lot of money and all that sort of thing. Yeah. Everything was going, there was a real vibe around the place which was never there before and then they went out and got Ron Barassi and of course by getting Ron Barassi, people players wanted to come to North too yeah. and, and we used to be poor old North sort of thing, it, it didn't become poor old North anymore. It's been you know, I had nearly 40 years down with the North North Football Club and it certainly was a big part of my life, but a, a most enjoyable one and it certainly changed my life around for the better in, in, in many, many ways. Can you tell us how you were actually recruited to North Melbourne? So I finished up playing baseball with Brunswick in the second division and I was only a 15 year old, he won the premiership actually. And a mate of mine who was out watching me play baseball this day, he was assistant professional golfer at Yarra Yarra Golf Club. And he wasn't going to be any good at golf. So we, we decided, let's go down to North Melbourne Force. And we pulled up on the bike and said, um, can we come and have a training run with the under 17s? I'd heard that they needed a centre half back. And I thought, well, they could have been a centre half back if they kicked 35 goals. The ball's never come come down there. So when I went to, to train, they had entered when I started to take a few marks. The coach came and said, Where do you play? And I was a rover at school, but I started to grow. And I said, Oh, I'm a centre half forward. <laughs> and that's how it, that's how that's it started. How it started. Here we are, mate, in front of North Melbourne's most famous photo, I reckon. An iconic marking. Is it a marking attempt or was it an actual mark? I felt that if I completed the mark, I would have fallen backwards and I could have broken my neck. So I had to lower my hands down. So it, I probably didn't hold the ball long enough as far as the umpire's high. point of view. But maybe the, the umpire, because I was up so high, took his breath away and he couldn't blow the whistle to play the mark. 